Hey guys, this is Rohan and here I have another new video to show you the new features in Windows Phone 10. So basically it's a Windows Phone 10 features round, round up. So in the last video I had posted on the same topic. The last video was muted because I was playing a song in the background. So here I have another video and it's a more stable one like recorded in a better way etc so here I talk about all the new features of Windows Phone 10 some of them being the new action center the new feature that Apple calls reachability but I don't know what Windows calls it it comes to all the devices 5 inch pl um, plus and minus like all the devices that are using Windows Phone 10. So here you go. And expand it again there. It's really cool. So then and then this is the new home screen. Which is cool again. Like you can just make those tiles transparent, totally transparent. You have a new people's app. It's again really fluid and nice in this build. This is build 10536.1044. Yes. And so many things were revised in this build, and I was using the build 10512, probably, if there was any like that. And this build, this is like. I had to download from that build. Now this looks like really stable. In there. Speed dial, history, and dial pad. New dial pad. You have a new alarm app. So you can just set alarms like that. You have a world clock, timer. You can time it with the just like that and the stopwatch which is again really cool yeah you have a new calculator and it's really really useful this time just go there and you can see the mm, different just conversions etc it's a really helpful keyboard this time again. Then we have new messaging app. Not much new but the UI is new so yeah. You can also reply on the fly. That's like you get a message, a normal message. And you can just like do that. And it's, it's cool, it's easy to use. You can just um, answer the, your message from the notification center also. Action center, sorry. And then you can make a quick note from here. It's easy in there. Just go and make a new note. It's cool. So then we see UI changes like this we have a wallpaper here also and this thing this again is cool new things you got new photos app now this is this was overhaul like this was really good and etc Say I took this picture. I know this is blurred. Okay, so I got it. This one, yeah. And click this, and there. And get different options like share, edit, delete, slideshow, print, file. Yeah, so there we go. Where it is, location, etc. Dimension, shot, ISO, everything, which is cool. Again. 
we then have, then have a new um, albums folder where we have the camera roll, save pictures and screenshots. The folders where all you have your photos saved that is OneDrive pictures on the SD card or on your phone. And so you can just see that this feature that I'm using is really helpful. Just do this and you don't even need to do this and this then. It's, it's really nice. First it was only available on the phones that were 5 inch and plus. But then they got suggestions. Microsoft got suggestions and to give it to all the devices. 4.7 inch etc. And there you go. The new settings app. You can search for settings here. And you have the same settings app on Windows 10. Which again is really good. So you um, write something again, and then you can see this thing, this cursor sort of thing, this cursor, and then like you can use it and go wherever you want to. You don't need to get the magnification thing and then go around. This like you would be looking forward to this feature. And I actually updated back to Windows Phone 10 to get this feature. Then you have this new mic icon which lets you say something, say display. Display. Okay. So it's not really good. This is a beta, you know. It's a technical review, it's worse than the beta. Battery saver. Then you have notifications plus actions, phone messaging, battery saver, storage. You can even use a mouse with this. You just connect a mouse with this using Bluetooth, and then you can easily um, use a mouse on this device screen, which is really cool. Again, and you have you can set the default camera. You have only one default camera right now. You can even um, use a keyboard with this. So it's like you just um, use a Bluetooth keyboard like that of Apple and you just connect it to this and it's done. You're using a keyboard then. You're not using the keyboard that you have the on the phone. You're using the um, external keyboard which is good. Personalization, yeah. Start. And then we we have sample images, my pictures none. So I can just choose from what images I want on my start screen. And there you have a preview. You can browse sample images. Only these many right now. You can set the tile transparency. Like I have set it to zero, so there is no tile transparency. But once I just drag it down. The all my tiles become totally um what's it called like non see through. Then full screen picture. I've set the full screen picture so I don't have the the picture on the tiles. I have them in the background. I have the picture in the background. And if I don't do that, if I go to tile picture, you'll see it like this, which looks good but okay so it's not really good I mean I have a full screen picture lock screen the new you have new colors also new colors personalize many many colors extra audio touch wake up navigation bar okay. then you have the new microsoft edge browser this was sort of a new uh, a totally new browser by Microsoft which Microsoft said was a lot more faster than Google Chrome 
and it is faster. You have the new reading mode here. So you can just read whatever you want to on the page. It just becomes like a Kindle. You just tap that, you have a hub. You can share the page. Send feedback, add to favorites, add to reading list, print to start. You can just print it to pin the thing to start that you want to. Hub to see your favorites, reading list, history and downloads. And this Microsoft Edge is super fast, really. Oh, there you go. I don't to do this. Open this. We have a new Microsoft Maps app. Yeah. It just shows where I am. You can then select 3D cities. Which is again cool. Like I can just see any city in 3D. So Barcelona. Mm. Yeah. There you go. 3D city. Just like that. It's cool. I don't know how to zoom in. Just like that, I can zoom in. Yeah. It trust. Not big deal. Then we have Groove mu Music. Like the new music app, the stock music app. It has a totally new UI. Welcome UI. You do that. Okay, never mind. And you can see the. You're playing a song, do that. You see the new. Um, what's it called? The, all the songs in the album, etc. Play all that too. This is nice. And then you have a new Xbox app. That will show you all the details of your Xbox 360 or whatever. Mm, it might be slow, it might not load, it might crash. Just leave this. Never mind. And then you have the new store app. This is now another universal app. The same thing you see here would be, you can see that on your desktop. Windows 10 desktop and it's faster and more fluid this time we have a new app Outlook Calendar we then have Outlook Mail the new mail app and you just say inbox google and just switch like that we see the new recently added apps here and you have cortana a new cortana so this was introduced in windows phone 8.1 not in all regions but here you go New Cortana. It shows you the weather and it's like really accurate. You can search for songs from here, music search. You search for music, I. yeah. And it'll store your searches here. Notebook, settings, etc. What you want to see in here. Yeah. All that stuff. And yeah, probably that's it. And so, ah uh, yeah. You have PowerPoint and Word, which is really awesome. And you can just 
use it here you don't need to go to your desktop again in there so so whether to upgrade or not i prefer that you could upgrade if you want for example i could not use um i could not like um this is 730 by the way and so i could not wait for the windows phone 10 update the official one so i just got this thing and it does work fluidly you might see some sort of lag in between it might be bad it might crash it might just restart but it's fine by the way your battery level goes like way way down your battery becomes bad very very bad so you can upgrade if you want but i think that the public beta should come in 2 to 3 weeks so you can wait if you can wait it's awesome and you can get the public beta which is really 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 good compared to this technical preview and then this is the feedback app ouch but do you check now yeah the new feedback app Yes, and so you you can upgrade if you want to, if you want the new features just right now. But if you can wait, it's the best thing. And the official update for it could come if you don't want a beta. The official update could be here around um, in October, so mid October or something. Because that's when like two two to three weeks, your would your um, 950 and 950 Excel would be coming. and so they would be launching the new os right then and that should be it you can upgrade if you want please subscribe like and leave comment below thank you